Welcome back to Change Ed. Changed. Change Ed. Oh, that's sticking, huh? Yep. That's here to stay. It's here to stay. Thank oh, you, Greg Mazer. Mazer. Right. We are still here at Pete and C24. Excited to be here live at the Invention Convention. And I got to say, this place was hopping. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of amazing individuals that were here that are so articulate, they're passionate, and they're inspiring. I think I said super impressive in every interview, probably three or four times, and I've never meant it more. I just can't believe from fourth graders to Miss Teen America. I mean, what an outrageous group of kids and, and their parents and their family should be so proud. I mean, no offense to the people we interviewed before this, but today's by far my favorite day. Yeah. It's just crazy about this whole experience is that it keeps getting better. Yeah. Right? We keep meeting new and fascinating individuals. And actually, one of the parents that we met with helped write the steel standards that we have now. Right, like That was a weird connection that we make, but this is providing a unique opportunity and truly living into our mission of let's get this out. Let's make sure that this is known, that these great things, these amazing things are happening in education that make you excited to be part of such an incredible profession. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky. And I think almost every interviewee that we had shot out their teacher so there are teachers out there changing mm -hmm. education and change these kids <laughs> and the, thank you and these kids change um it. will be the one that the change education for sure i think for us in this experience we were like okay can we get your contact information like we want to track your career we yeah. want to see where you go yeah. make sure you give us a shout out <laughs> right. I'm, I'm buying night lights now yeah. seriously yeah. I, yes a lot of great things so this is this was definitely the cherry on top for mm -hmm. this whole experience okay. and it was nice to sit down with such driven young individuals I, I reflect back to where i was at all of those stages right elementary middle school high school creating an invention and then being able to articulate that and present it was not in my no. repertoire at no. that point i still don't like public speaking and these these kids really did just an amazing job and a big thank you if you haven't listened yet to the episode with brenda calhoun who spoke all about pa invention convention mm -hmm. please sure. go back and listen to that and how to get involved but i can't wait for you to hear um, how awesome these kids were and you know the other person is uh Lori rogers she's super involved as well and, and then there's hosts of others right who there volunteer. were so the many judges. people who yeah. came to judging, judge yeah, yeah. And that was really fun, too, because all the people that we saw and spent time with in Pete and C, even a lot of our guests that we had on the show were then here in the morning, early in the morning, mm -hmm. offering their time and, and support for, again, education, these students and all their work. Listen to the kids. They're awesome. Listen to the kids. Get ready. Get ready for an incredible interview. We have a special okay, guest here with us today. I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself. I'm Sophia Baker. I go to Grandview Elementary in Derry, and I'm in grade four. And my invention is Quantum Flex Elite. Quantum Flex Elite? That sounds uh, super sophisticated so for a fourth yeah. grader. Really science-y. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So I made it for cheer, and it's for like injuries, and it helps helps flyers. It has a little built-in ankle brace and it helps flyers and tumblers. Nice. So why did you pick an ankle brace? Because if you buy a separate ankle brace, you're just like, it only fits one size and you have to make sure you get the right size. So okay. yours fits all sorts of sizes? Yeah. Oh, wow. And it also has little divots on the bottom of the shoes so bases can get good grips. Oh my goodness. So I'm guessing you're a gymnast? Yeah. So how did well, you how did you think of this idea? I thought of it just because it's real cheers really dangerous because of all the injuries. I recently broke my arm. Wow. Really? Okay. And that inspired you to think of this? How to make it more safe. Yeah. So I have I have three daughters and they all love cheer. So they're gonna ask me about this. Just for our listeners, I want them to know the level of community that you're actually in a cheer uniform. You yeah. you got the whole thing, you're ready. To, to present like Shark Tank. I'm just, ready. I'm just curious. How often do you practice cheer? Every week, three days. Three every days. Week. Three days a week. Wow. It's impressive. That's, That's dedication for sure. Yeah. And you find time to invent as well. Yeah. I'm impressed. That's very impressive. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you want to share about your invention? It has special LED lights. Ooh. Stop it. All right. Tell me a little bit more about yeah. those, please. So they go around the side of the shoe, uh -huh. and there's a little remote and they can go to the beat of the cheer music. So how did you set that up? 
we basically just so we programmed it to the remote. Hey, that's, awesome. that's better yeah. than I could do. So yeah. Now, is there an app for this as well? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. You created an app? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. He's smarter than us. Yeah. This has all different levels of sophistication here, from the actual prototype to the app. It's very cool. And then there's also a telemetry and gyroscope that can measure out jumps in the routine. Okay. So those are two very big words. Can you tell me what telemetry and gyroscopes are? They're to measure out stuff, so like how, if they're crooked. So it also helps them become better at yeah. their... Wow. Then there's um, a VR coach that can that can help you with jumps, tumbling, and tell you what's wrong. Girl, I hope you get a patent because yeah. you're going to be a millionaire this in like is awesome. five minutes. We're trying. Okay, so when you have your millions of dollars, mm-hmm. remember who helps to yeah. you Your get it out there, right? Yes. That's right? Okay, so you're going to come Ed. back and be like, I'm now 12 and yep. I have a million dollars. Okay. Change Ed sponsored by Sophia. That sounds great to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Deal? Thank okay. you. We wish you all the best. We're excited to see where your mention goes. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, you're Sophia. Welcome. We are now fortunate enough to sit down with Joe and Lori Baker, the parents of Sophia. And what I said before we started recording was good luck following up that act. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't either. We never can. Yeah, we never can. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell you're both very proud of her and what she's done. But curious, as parents going through this convention convention experience, what has it been like for you to watch Sophia do this work? And I think the, the important part is to to have a student identifies the fact that they have a problem mm-hmm. yeah. and are able to really conceptualize that in their head and figure out like how can I help not just me yeah. but how can I help in this case an entire sport yeah. or even multiple sports because one of the things that she didn't necessarily talk about is we go to competitions all the time and you know, obviously she broke her hand she had that to rely on but whenever you talk about the ankle brace at the recent competition we just went to we had a girl that was tumbling and broke her ankle so like you see this stuff happen all the time and then you start thinking how can we stop that from happening and, and she was able to think about that I always uh, I coached her dairy area midget cheer she's actually on three cheer squads she does uh, rock league she does uh, school cheer and uh, cheer tricks cheer she plays basketball she plays softball oh Goodness. Does piano. Oh my she goodness. has us crazy. But the telemetry and the gyroscope yeah. kind of came from the softball virtual reality. Yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. So she thought, you know, what a good way to help a coach map a routine. Watch out for collisions. Yeah. That feedback coaching for jumps and, and tumbling and, and in-app purchase kind of like that. But it was neat to see she came to us first and said, I want to make it pop. And we talked as a family and said, mm, I don't know if that would be feasible. What else could you use? to fit those features in that you want you want to create so then she came up with the shoe and then it was like the exact spit, spitting image of a textbook invention yeah trial it's, and error yeah. research what can you do yeah. what can you include so it was really neat watching her do that well thank you very much thanks for coming on the show and for, for sharing your invention your daughter and your experience with us absolutely thank you best of luck bye bye we are here at the Invention Convention, and we have a very special guest with us, one of the inventors. Welcome. Your name is? Kara. Hi, Kara. Thanks for being here. What school do you go to, Kara? Lionville Elementary School. Lionville Elementary School. That sounds very familiar to me because I live in the Montgomery County area, and you're from Downingtown. Is that right? Yes. Okay. What grade are you in, Kara? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. All right. I want to hear about your invention. What is it called? The rebounder. And I made it because my dog Sammy's ball was continuously going underneath the couch. Okay. A rebounder for a dog. So why did you, why did, I know it goes under the couch, but you didn't want to crawl under there and get it. Uh, were you trying to, you wanted to just come back all the time? I didn't want to continuously be getting down on the floor to grab it. And I wanted to make a toy for Sammy. Nice. Oh, okay. So when the dog throws the ball under the couch, how far behind the couch does it go? Is it kind of in the front so it like bounces off real quick or is it a little bit farther back? It's in the white front so that the ball will never ever go under the couch and possibly get stuck there. 
Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about how it attaches to the couch? Because I also, he's a golden retriever, so he's got a lot of hair and all that gets up in there. So how can I attach it and unattach it so that way I can make sure I get all the dog hair out? It's attached by four string bracelets, two on each side so that the invention is stable. And I made bracelets because if it was just one or two strings, they could fray and rip and yeah. the rebounder wouldn't stay on. Great idea. This is a problem that's been around for decades. I know I, I grew up with dogs and, and there are probably still toys under my parents' couch. Yeah, I can't tell you. I pulled the couch pups. out the other day and I swear to you, I had 17 tennis yeah. balls just all along the table in the back. It's kind of gross. Well, Kara, this sounds really, really cool. Did you get any help with this project? Do you have any friends that helped you? Any parents? Did you talk to a few people about your design? My parents and friends and my teacher, Miss Hefner, helped me. Some of my friends made suggestions, like one was maybe add bitter spray to <laughs> the invention so that dogs won't like chew at it. Mm. Oh, that's an even that's really better good idea. idea. Wow. Kara, I have four children and they lose things under the couch all the time as well. Will this work for them? Yeah, I think it would. I have a teacher, Miss McIntosh, mm -hmm. and she has two dogs and a baby. Mm -hmm. And she said that her baby's toys are always going under the couch and her mm -hmm. dog's toys were always going under the couch. So she said she would really like it. So this has potential for all uses, all uses. right? Yeah, all yeah. this is great. I yeah. love that. What do people say? Uh, I know you shared about your teachers, but what do other people say when you talk to them about your invention? Some of my friends thought it was really cool and they agreed. And I also asked people at my school and a lot of people said that they would want the invention because they have the same problem. It's a universal couch. Problem. It really yeah, is. It really this, is. Is a, this is a really, you have a good marker. Game changer. Yeah. Well, Kara, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. We're really excited to see where this invention goes. And I'm guessing that this won't be the last invention. So we'll, we'll make sure we keep an eye on your career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. So we're here also with Kara's father, Matt. Matt and Landis, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. We are, obviously, Kara has got it together. She it's talks so very articulate. Yeah, yeah, about her design and her invention. What has this experience been like? Like for you watching her, but also for your family. Is it a family affair or is it kind of Kara does her thing and you guys, you know, watch from afar? Yeah, I think as a, a parent, it's very exciting to see your child kind of think about new things, see the world. Um, I'm a data scientist by nature, so like she collected data about this. I got to share some of the things that I love as a parent with her. She's very thoughtful with it. She's very excited about it. And for me personally, I don't have to reach out underneath the couch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want one. I'm not going to lie. That sounds amazing. She, she could also call it my dad's favorite dimension. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so what was it like at home? I'm sure that yes. you had to walk her through a few yeah, of the different steps, but how did Kara kind of change as the process started with the idea and then developing and trying it out and speaking to others? Like, what did you see her growth kind of look like throughout this project? Yeah, I think that's a really good question. You know, at first it was really kind of like a poorly formed idea. She kind of like put this white piece of cardboard over it and she tested it out. It didn't really stay there. She kind of made uh, strings to make it stick. And then like the way she tested it out. And then also I think her growth, right? Mm -hmm. You know, she's very shy about talking about it. The material she had to put together. She there are a lot of growth in yes. her development as a person and you could definitely see the confidence that's in her awesome. grow. Definitely. She seemed very confident and very articulate. I was impressed for a fourth grader to be able to talk so clearly about the work that she's doing. So that's awesome that she's kind of blossomed That like should that. be a proud dad moment for Seriously. you as well. Yeah, uh, my wife and I are very proud of her. Mm -hmm. yeah. sure. and, and you know, the other part that really stuck out to me was that she was able to give specific examples. Like, I was talking yeah. to this teacher or mm -hmm. I talked to this person. So she, it's clearly not just an, it's something that she created and she's proud of. So mm -hmm. she's talking about mm -hmm. it. She's sharing the idea and looking for feedback and i love how you just talked about the connection that you made with your own profession things that you value how you can connect them because i think that's from my experience that's a, a lifelong parenting journey of like but i love this over here how do i get you to you know see it or value it as well so that must have been a nice bonding opportunity yeah i, I have a really special bond with my daughter and uh very excited to be able to share this with her uh although her mom has put in a lot more work than i have but uh, so shout out to the mom yeah well well thank you to yeah. your entire family. Thank you for coming on the show, sharing this with us, and we look forward to sharing this with our, our Change It Nation. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, you too.